Hello friends, welcome back. Today we will discuss about DNA. DNA, DNA structure or simplified overview. What is DNA? Every organism in the earth is consists of this particular molecular structures. Uh, a part of it is passed on from parents to the offspring and various uh, triads of the parents are transferred to the offspring via this molecular structure called DNA. DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. In short, we call it DNA. So these forms the base of life. All the coded information of one parent is transferred to the organ another organism or its offspring via this genetic material. So I, I discussed earlier whether it's maybe a human being as a plant or it's an animal or an insect. DNA forms the main part of the life and it was discovered in 1869 as a uh, while investigating nucleus of the cell uh, Frederick Masher came across an acidic substance called Nuslin he called it Nuslin it was acidic in nature that's why he called it Nuslin it was a long polymer and uh, consists of a lot of sugar and phosphatic molecule so DNA is a a uh, long polymer of uh, deoxyribose nucleotides. It consists of many polymers. Now the length of the DNA decides where number of nucleotide it consists. A uh, DNA consists of number of nucleotide, nucleotide come together, they form they form dinucleotide, dinucleotide come together, they form a polynucleotide and the same and the, in the same way a complete strand is formed and that is called a strand of nucleotide is formed that forms the DNA or is called a base pair. This base pair varies from organism to organism. Like in human beings, our haploid in human beings, it is 3.3 .3 into 10 raised to the power 6 base pairs are there. That is haploid. Haploid. And in case of, uh, say, H ratio coli, E. coli, we have 4.6 into 10 raised to the power 6. Uh, base pair. So this varies uh, according to the different organisms. Now before going to details of the DNA and the structure, we will try to locate where the DNA uh, is found and, uh, and uh, what, what is the uh, exact location of DNA. Now on examining this is a cell molecule and it consists of say mitochondria it has various parts, plastids we have, um, we have then we have important for the nu nucleus. On investigating further on this nucleus, when we move forward, uh, we see nucleus consists of nuclear membrane, nuclear uh, nuclear pore is there, nuclear plasma is there. Then we have certain structure called chromatin, or we can also say uh, chromosomes. These are found inside their uh, nucleus. Now, on further investigation of the chromosomes, these are chromosomes. like a, a X shaped chromosome and on further investigation of the chromosome we find it consists of lot of proteins uh, which is called uh, histone proteins uh, in eukaryotes we have histone in prokaryotes we don't have histone protein and uh, this this is a general mass of DNA and all the proteins together this is found inside the chromosome on further Enlarging it, we'll see it's a tangled mass. It's a tangled mass is packed properly inside the chromosome cell. Now, if you analyze the single strand of uh, DNA, you see it's a circular form. It's a uh, helix structure is there, and on enlarging this particular structure, you see uh, histone protein. Here you see histone protein is there and it is covered by the DNA. You see the DNA covering the individual histone molecule. The core of the eight, uh, eight histone molecules is covered by the DNA and this structure completely forms a coil of structure or chromatin and when you um, uh, further drilling down you see uh, individual stand consists of a helical structure called DNA. This way we, we have come from nucleus then inside the nucleus they have uh, you have uh, 
um, chromosome when examining the chromosome we have chromatin or uh, DNA structure inside on examining DNA structure DNA structure is a strand covered by uh, say it's covering the histone protein a protein called histone and the structure completely jam-packed it becomes a complete DNA structure so we, we have uh, we are going to study in detail about this structure the DNA structure And this is double helical structure I just I discussed earlier also. It's like a ladder, complete ladder and a, a twisted ladder. So this forms a complete DNA strand. Now going more into details on how is that particular DNA molecule made. Uh, Deoxyribose nucleic acid is made. It consists of, uh, it constitutes of nucleotides. So DNA is made of a combination of uh, nucleotides. Now, Nucleotides are two types, pyrimidines and purines, two type of nuclear bases are there and attached to the nuclear bases we have uh, a sugar molecule, a deoxyribose sugar and a phosphatic molecule. Here you can see in the structure the pyrimidines are one type of nuclear base having a single ring, single ring and the uh, purines uh, which is one type of nuclear base having double ring so we have two types of nucleotides and the combination of these nucleotides um, makes a complete structure of uh, DNA now we'll, now we'll study a complete structure of single nucleotide so we have drilled down from uh, a DNA to nucleotide and now we are going to study a single structure of nucleotide it consists of a nuclear base attached to a sugar molecule as, as seen earlier. Now the sugar molecule side is having three prime, three open prime and the phosphatic side is called five prime. This complete constitutes a, a complete nucleotide. Now nucleotide is of four types. Here we can classify as primans and pyrimidines. So um, uh, here you see the green color, the one is uh, adenine type, then we have thymine type, adenine, thymine, cytosine and guanine. So adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine. So combination of this, all this nucleotide forms a complete strand of uh, DNA molecule. Now going to detail of this uh, molecule structure of uh, purines and pyrimidines. Here you can see in adenine and guanine which forms a purine purines and in purines we have a guanine which has in two rings one two and pyrimidines it has uh, one cytosine and thymine. And thymine is having only one ring structure. It's a one ring structure. So uh, this structure comes together with the help of uh, phosphodiester bonds. They are connected to each other by phosphodiester bonds and they form a complete set of uh, a nucleotide. And here, uh, this is the way how the combination of individual nucleotide is made. It is attached together with, uh, with this bond and it, is, uh, it forms a single strand. James Watson and uh, Francis Clerk in, in 1953, they discovered this double helical structure of molecule. So uh, this was the primitive structure they described, they made uh, the structure, double helical structure. Later on, you see, it's just like, uh, just like a ladder and the various uh, nitrogen bases are arranged in between the purines and a different combination. They are arranged in between and they have a particular set of arrangement is there and these two structure forms the uh, uh, sugar phosphatic backbone. So these are the backbone strands and on the backbone there are different uh, nitrogen spaces arranged. Now this backbone is uh, anti parallel type like uh, this 5 prime and 3 prime and here we have 3 prime and uh, 5 prime and 3 prime so that means uh, this is parallel but 
arrange in an anti parallel fashion the 5 prime ends in a phosphatic molecule base and the 3 prime ends in a sugar molecule base so that's it's arranged in anti uh, uh, parallel fashion so this helical structure which uh, james watson um, discovered and uh, this having all the nitrogen bases arranged in between and these nitrogen bases are connected to each other by hydrogen bonds i'll i'll tell you in details in further slides we'll we'll see in details so here see 5 prime 3 prime and this is 5 prime and 3 prime this is anti parallel now if you go further details now we have drilled down from uh, complete uh, structure from cell to dna from nucleotide nucleotide to the structure of nucleotide the various parts of nucleotide now we are going to molecular structure of the dna strand so this dna strand when we enlarge and see you have phosphatic molecule attached to sugar molecule then phosphatic molecule attached to sugar molecule now this forms a combination of purines and pyrimidines so adenine combines with uh, thymine and you have uh, cytosine combining with guanine so adenine combines with thymine with the two hydrogen bonds two bonds and cytosine combines with guanine uh, with three bonds one two three because it's having two rings and this is only having one ring so this combination of adenine thymine uh, cytosine guanine then guanine then cytosine this complete combination forms a complete strand so this forms uh, so one side you have a this a five prime prime structure and this is a uh, this is ending in a, a sugar molecule this is a three prime and this is a 5 prime and this is a 3 prime so now you can see uh, the detailed structure of the molecule how it they are arranged and uh, how the pairing is done and how the pairs are connected by hydrogen bonds the same thing which can be explained in this uh, in this uh, structure also and this is a 5 prime end that that ends in a phosphatic molecule and this is a sugar end which is a 3 prime end so the in between the both the strands it is connected by hydrogen bonds and this formed a so this forms a complete uh, double helical structure of uh, dna and uh, here you can see uh, the structure of dna This is a complete structure of DNA. Uh, double helical strand in between the, all the bases are there. So uh, this is a exact DNA structure. In a further session, we'll discuss about uh, how the heredity takes place, the other transfer of various uh, traits takes place.